and this is the sixth stage of this, a uh, seventh stage of this Tour de France now. This is a stage. Uh, the next three stages is actually a good uh, chance to actually see how how f how good our team is. Uh, and as last stage, we didn't go so good, uh, go as well with Sagan as we expected, but it's fine. Um, we still have a lot of chance to get the green jersey with Pil Sagan, so that would not be a problem uh, in the long run. Uh, but you see, this is a fairly easy stage, uh, where we can relax any mo even more. Uh, but the last climb, you see that uh, can actually make a huge gap on the pedals on. Um, the favorites of this stage is Alejandro uh, Valverde, as you saw, and Dan Martin, because th that uh, climb. Uh, just before the finish, uh, where there's a big downhill section, and then it just uh, up one kilometer up. Uh, and we're looking forward to see how this is gonna be. Um, of course, our main objective is to make sure we have uh, retained the uh, co yeah the yellow jersey, and then we will try to get 12 points with uh, Peter Sagan. Uh, of course. Um, and because he probably got uh, also follow all the favorites in this uphill section, Kreuziger should get uh, the top 10, that will give him a boost. The rest of the riders should just uh, stay alone and yeah, he should just not do anything. Uh, we can try to go on a breakaway with uh, Velgren. Um, as we talked about last stage, he should probably just uh, use his strains to protect Contador and the uh, mountain stages uh, also the same with the uh, Michael Rogers uh, but we're trying to go on a breakaway with Peter Sagan uh, that just means in the long run we can actually uh, work with him but uh, for now we are starting this race Hello Saigon's main attraction is inevitably the Col d'Aspin but the descent to Lake Hyol must not be taken for granted. As well, it's what is treacherous. And yeah, riders as I say, we should not be taken for granted, and that's fine. Uh, and that's actually a mistake we did here. We should not attack with him. Uh, we should just follow uh, the pace. Um, but uh, we should try to go and uh, follow attack with Boaro. He can probably do some damage. Um, Trufenbach should protect, and Kielikowski should protect uh, Rogers. Uh, Kreuziger, and then we have Rogers to protect uh, Sagan. And then we control Mike in a minute here. And then we put uh, Velgren to protect Sagan. Uh, oh, he is protected there. So that is how it goes now. Mikan should just go here. You see Condor in the yellow jersey. Of course. Um, and Belgrin should just uh, take a relay on 60%. For the moment now we don't have anything to do on this, so we are just skipping further in this mish in this stage. And now we're going for the um, sprint uh, time, and in the meantime, we have uh, got a breakaway with Boado, uh, six minutes in front of the Peloton, and we are trying to get the last 10 points styles with Pelosagan. Uh, for now, uh, it's looking good for the bre breakaway. It probably will not last, but uh, we are catching up and we try to see what we can get out of this. But you see, the objectives for this stage is 12 point to point stainless with Pelosagan, and at uh, first. Uh, and become top 10 with Kreisiger and just retain the yellow jersey with Alvarez and Contador. It should not be impossible to do. Uh, except because we don't have to actually work with Contador on this stage, we just have to make sure he's follow the attacks. And here we go. The first will pocket 20 points. The breakaway is losing its lead. It's going to be difficult for them. You see, it's gonna be hard. Uh, we're trying actually not to ruin it uh, like we did last time. Um, just try to follow the pace now, and there's about six kilometers to the to the next sprint. 
uh, and again we need that 10 points so uh, that will be most optimal as we're gonna stay behind some sprinters uh, in the long run. Uh, Bone is not a sprinter anymore, he was used to be. Um, and then we had Dinkold and we should just follow Dinkold. It will probably be the best, uh, our best bet. Um, and then we should try to accelerate for the intermediate sprint now. Up the pace guys to prepare for the intermediate sprint. Let's see uh, how much people are working for that. Of course, our Basel Contador has been protected for all costs, uh, no matter what. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. Three kilometers left. And you'll see here, Sagan is gonna try to stay behind Cummings and uh, see what's happening. And now he put let Dinkol get up here, see if he can take his will or uh, Bonnie. And what is going on here? We just have to see. And he wait, he wait, and now the probably the first sprint is coming. That's about a one kilometer to the sprint. And see, Dickenkolb are waiting, he's trying to push it now. And there's Sprinters off. Dickenkolb is in front, and Contador uh, Sagan is behind the MMA. And he just go past Dickenkolb. You see, yes, he go past him. Yes, he do. He go past him, and he won this sprint completely. Oh, uh, does he? Does he? Oh, his effort is very, very low now. He's about to lose his speed. No, he's. Still pushing it, and he's sure to win this. That was amazing drive by Sagan. Finally, he got a sprint. At least he got ten points and got one point closer to the green jersey. And now we reach the uphill section and see how it's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be a tough, tough stage uh, climb. Also, because we don't know who's gonna attack and who's not. And Bardo is up there still. Contador uses a fairly good pace. Not using his support. He's trying to go in front of the peloton. And Bargelands. Thibaut Pinot. Kreuzig is ready for a counter attack. And we put the pace on now. You see, um, Tinkoff is putting in front now with 80% 80 percent percentage. But they're not taking the lead yet. And all just trying to use less energy as possible. Kreuzig is trying to go on a breakaway, or at least he tries to counter attack. And Contador following them good. It looks like Moose are taking the pushing out. A well green, he should just uh, st sting without persist. Kilkowski has lost his uh, his place, um, and then we have Rogers left. He should just use a blue gel and throw him us blue gel. And Michael should not blow up now. He should just take his place. Okay, I'll take it easy to the finish. Well, we are now ready to attack. Okay, the too. pace is too fast, I won't insist. He's been dropped. The stage is too much for him. Six percent is a tough, tough stage. Uh, Sagan are also trying to follow the attacks. He need to get some red chill. Uh, and then he should just try to follow attacks instead. Probably, probably the best. 
Then you can run, uh, just save some energy now. Buaro should, should continue the effort. Swing Geisha. And that attack. But where are they attacking? Poitier guy with him. We just follow his own pace now. There's no reason why we should... Uh, Kreuziger Stick to the wheels in front Red Jill Full Costa Almost is the time now Maybe out of 1 minute 20 seconds seconds Counter attack at the front of the peloton. I'm gonna try to push it a little harder now. And Kreuziger hasn't understand he should uh, counter attack. And Fulsang is left behind. Contador attacking now. Try to follow it. Leverde is up uh, in front now. Kreuziger uh, on the move, uh, you just follow. Attack now. And Bagil uh, trying to now also to take some time. It is dangerous. And Kreuziger continue. The Aspen. The Aspen is a first category climb. It will earn 10 points for the first rider to the top. It's probably going to be a stage feature with Valverde. He's a very good, excellent uh, driver downhill. With less than 30 seconds advantage at one kilometer from the summit, the lead rider mustn't falter if he wants to win today. And Kreuziger are trying to catch, uh, trying to hold it. He's with really Bade. That's fine. He just get a top 5 place and Nibali is just uh, right here. So there's no reason why we should work now. You can get that top 5 place if you just hold this. And now it's all the way down to the finish. But Bate can take the yellow jersey now if you hold this. But Contador wanted it differently. Following. The breakaway is under the red pennant. 
stand any chance of victory, it must tackle the short climb correctly. Koichi is going to encounter the door. Looks like they are doing really good. That's fine. Fourth and fifth place. That's what we should do, and that's what we expected to do. We retained the yellow jersey, and Koichi got his fifth place. That's amazing drive. And let's see the final standings. We gained some time, maybe. No, we didn't. Uh, but at least. Uh, we took time on Contador, uh, on, on Crystal Froome and Nibali also, that is important. He's amongst the leading riders this year. Here's the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. Alberto Contador. Let's hope for his sake that things go as well in the future, but for now he can relish the moment. Excellent drive. He's amongst the leading riders this year. Here's the polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. Alberto Contador. Maybe it is a moment that he soon won't forget know. and which marks his career. Come on, let's applaud him once more. It's looking good for Alberto Contador before they actually reach the first uh, pioneers. And we just have to see how much points he had, uh, time he got. Bagil got closer. Uh, see Valverde. Uh, only 14 seconds now behind the uh, Contador. But in the long run, it's actually our 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 goal to uh, to get a bit of time on that. Um, and Kozika just got a better place, six places up, and that actually looks like he's ha have a very good day. Uh, Sagan. Still number six, but he still have a lot of uh, time he can take, a lot of points he can take in the long run. But you see there, after this uh, stage, we actually have a few uh, Kreuziger, Contador and Sagan are the best placed, and they also recover completely.